guys, I'm going to do a comparison video for you today on the Jujube Hobo Bee versus the Jujube Bee Small. The Hobo Bee that I have is in the Early Sunrise print. Um, it does have a custom seat belt strap attached um, to it right now. And the Bee Small is just in the basic black and silver. Um, if you're not familiar, the Hobo Bee is a current uh, purse style small diaper bag offered by Jujube and the Bee Small is a super tiny, um, no frills diaper bag um, that used to be offered by GGB. Um, so I'm going to go over the features of both bags um, and then kind of show you the carrying capacity. I have the Hobo Bee packed up right now for my three-year-old and my one-year-old. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, we'll go over the outside features of the bag first um, and then we'll do the inside features as um, I pack it up. So the <coughs> Hobo Bee has um, a bottle pocket on either side. Um, there's a front mommy pocket, a small uh, zipped felt line pocket, um, the zipped interior pocket, and then there's a snap pocket in the back with a light change pad. The uh, Bee Small has a mommy pocket that has a um, magnetic uh, closure here. Um, there's a no bottle pockets on the outside. Um, like I said, no frills bag. Uh, just one main zipped um, interior compartment, and it actually zips all the way down to the bottom. Um, there is a padded messenger strap, which the Hobo Bee normally comes with a similar strap. Um, the actual strap is wider, but it does have a memory foam pad on it. I just have it with the custom seat belt strap on it because it's pretty. Um, and then in the back, there's a change pad pocket. This does come with a memory foam change pad. Um, I do not have that change pad. Um, and the only difference really um, in these straps between the two, the original strap, um, is this, um, like all the older style bags, has a little extra D-ring up here that you could put, you know, like a passy pot or something of that nature on. And um, they have little stroller clip kind of D-rings um, here at the top. The newer style is um, arched and you can attach uh, stroller clips and have, you know, uh, your strap on it. Now the um, strap that does come with this doesn't have the swivels, just FYI. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start unpacking the Hobo Bee, uh, and then we'll start putting stuff um, into the Bee Small, probably after I have most of this unpacked. Um, so I like to keep my keys in the bottle pocket, so one bottle pocket has my keys, um, the other I have just a small bottle of water, I think this is 10 ounces, yes, 10 ounce bottle of water, and the felt line pocket, I have my phone, it's an iPhone 6, it's in there nicely, um, I'm not going to do, uh, take the change pad out just because um, I don't have it for the other one, and this is so small, it doesn't really take up any space. Um, the mommy pocket on the Hobo Bee. Um, Kind of hard to see in on a video, but there is a um, long zipped uh, compartment in the back. There's a key leash um, and then two mesh pockets. Um, so in this long zip compartment in the back, I just have um, my pup pouch uh, made by Silly Stuff and whatnot in the sea ammo. Just has my med kit stuff. Um, pretty much anything for a small scrape or cut. Um, and then in this uh, mesh pouch on this side, I have a coin purse and pixie dust with the cards that don't fit in my wallet, my hand lotion, um, lip balm. The other side I have um, a small set and the pinky swear and this just has stuff um, which makes it mommy needs gum, panty liners, tin and lip balm, Tylenol, Advil. There's a regular size tampon at the bottom and some hair ties as well. Um, then on the um, key leash here, it's where I like to keep my wallet um, since it's thin and light so it doesn't fall. And at the very bottom, I have a regular pen and a tied to go pen that I always carry with me. Um, that's a little better view of the inside mommy pocket. Um, go ahead and put some of this stuff um, in the Be Smalls mommy pocket. Um, there are the photo pockets up here, I don't use anything there. Um, there's a ridiculously long key leash. Um, a little elastic pocket that matches the print of the bag. There's a mesh pocket and then a long zip pocket um, in the back. Phone fits nicely in that long zip pocket. I don't like putting my keys on this key leash because it is so long it gets kind of cumbersome. I actually, in this bag, it's easier just to keep them in the back. Um, though you can set them on top. Um, I'm going to throw the two pens at the bottom. 
the lotion and the lip balm put in here in the elastic pocket. The coin purse put um, in that mesh pocket and then I'm going to throw my wallet in there and that's kind of about it other than maybe setting um, my keys on top that could fit in the mommy pocket because um, you want the um, magnetic closure to still be able to work. Um, so the other stuff's going to have to go inside the bag. Um, let's open up the Hobo Bee. Now, part of the um, problem with the Hobo Bee design, in my opinion, is that uh, the zip curves in. So whereas this, um, the small is a boxier bag, um, which allows you a little more room to play when you stuff stuff on. Um, with the Hobo Bee, the fact that it zips down makes it a little hard to stuff full. So just keep that in mind. Um, top, I just have a, like a 12 month hoodie for my son. Um, and then I'll show you the inside. Um, there are two, there's actually a long zipper pocket in the back, two mesh pockets, um, a little zip pocket in the front here, and another mesh pocket, and then the whole um, middle is open. So in this back zip pocket, I have um, just a custom piece. Um, you can see ammo just has activities for my daughter, crayons, coloring books, stickers, all that sort of thing. Um, I don't have anything um, in this mesh pocket, just, oh wait, I did end up putting wipes in here, because um, I like using packing cubes, and this medium one is a little bit too tall um, for how this bag zips down, so it makes it hard to zip. Um, I did go ahead and fold up these wipes and put them in there. Uh, these are just hand and face wipes. My original package broke, so they're just kind of shoved in a booty pod. Um, let's see, we'll do all the pockets first. Uh, snack pouch, just a small travel on packing cube. Has several snacks in it, fruit strips, fruit snacks, pouches, uh, a bit of for my son. Um, and then I don't think I, yeah, I didn't put anything in this pocket. I didn't have anything small enough. This other mesh pocket just has a quicklet with um, just some toys for my son in case he gets bored. In the middle here, um, here's the medium travel on packing cube. Let's see if I can show you really quick why I don't like putting it in the mesh. It, makes it really hard to zip. You can see, you have to like really pull it over. That's why I have it on this side. So this just has um, a long, uh, 12 month long sleeve onesie for my son, size five pair of pants, um, then undies and socks for my daughter since she is potty training. Um, in front of that, I had um, my large set in the CMO. This just has my diapering stuff. Um, so I have a custom piece that has um, trash bags and A&D ointment also in the CMO. Two size four diapers, one four T five T pull up, a booty pod with wipes, flushable wipes, and then disposable change pads. And then the last thing I just had tucked on the side here um, was a bottle with some formula in it for my son. And that is it. Um, that's all I had in my hoodie, and it was crammed full. Um, just to show you for comparison's sake, so we're gonna open up the small. Um, this is gusseted, which is nice. I do like the way this opens. Um, it's nice and wide. You have two mesh pockets in the back, um, this insulated pocket that you could use as a bottle pocket, and then a small zip pocket. Now this bag, since it's um, kind of square in nature, you can fit this medium um, packing cube upright, which is nice. Um, and you still have plenty of room and it closes easily. So I'll put the two travel on packing cubes in the back there. Put my small set in that little zip pocket. I'm not going to zip it though. Um, put my activity pack and my uh, large set kind of slid in there along with my pup pouch. Um, I'm going to take out the toys uh, for my son from the quicklet um, just because it will pack easier into there. This little mesh, or not mesh, um, insulated pocket all will fit in there. Um, and I mean, technically, if you want to make the comparison totally real, you could fold this up and shove it in there, but these are so small and thin, I don't think it really matters. Um, put the wipes down in there, um, and then hopefully I can fit um, both bottles. I'm gonna probably put one on top, so I'm going to start to zip it. I have So far, I have almost everything in this bag that I had in the Hobo Bee. Zipping this. Okay, so it is shutting. I'm gonna put this bottle of water on top and the hoodie that I had for my son will shut.
up. It's just, I would never recommend packing it this full, but I always pack it this full for my comparisons just to kind of give you an idea. Um, and it does pack, I mean, it's not busting at the seams or anything. So the keys back in the back here. And that's it. Um, so I'm going to throw and get technical, throw this quick light in there too. Uh, but the uh, Bee Smell held everything that the Hobo Bee did. Um, essentially, they just pack totally different, um, and they look different. Now, obviously, since the Hobo Bee is a current style diaper bag, um, much easier to find, more, uh, you know, the newer print and that sort of thing, it does look more like a purse. Um, and it has outside bottle pockets, which are all nice features, but the Bee Small, don't be fooled by its name. Um, maybe a smaller size diaper bag, but it really holds a lot. And I actually like that it just has the one main compartment because it allows uh, for a lot of flexibility in packing it. And it holds the same amount of stuff. It's actually easier to cram it full of stuff since it is square versus the stip in the Hobo Bee. Um, not a fan of the mommy pocket on the Bee Small, but eh, I mean, the mommy pocket on the Hobo Bee, a lot, a lot of people don't like either. I don't personally mind it. Um, so there you have it. Um, I hope this was helpful for you guys, and thank you so much for watching.